Hello, my name's Tenmix and I'm going to be talking about colleges because today I just did a I just filled in a couple college applications. I have forgotten how to create a new world. It's been ages since I've played Minecraft. Please forgive me. Yes, but today I'm going to be talking about colleges. And this is going to be quite different from my normal type of videos. Oh my god, sorry, I had something playing on my phone. This is going to be quite different from my normal type of videos, as usually I like to do more of a gaming focus, however this is going to be more of a rambly talk focus. And this is because this is going to hopefully be part of a video series called 10 Talks, or maybe even a YouTube channel called 10 Talks, which is heavily inspired by Jay Schlatt's YouTube series The Weekly Slap. I'm going to be doing this because, it's quite similarly to him, I want to be able to see how my perspective on everything in my life changes over time and just I think this is a good way of tracking personal development and also just I it's it's like a scrapbook but in video form which I would say is more authentic honestly because like photos they're always posed but this video is probably gonna have little to no editing I'm gonna draw a sick thumbnail I haven't thought of it yet but like, in my head, it's amazing. The outcome probably won't be, but that's okay because, dude, this is sort of just a video series that I'm doing for me. Like, yeah, I would love to know other people's opinions and everything, but overall, that's not really too important as it is just tracking myself. Yes, but today's topic I want to talk about was colleges. So I've applied for so many colleges today. Usually people talk about applying for colleges as if it's something that's completely, like absolutely dreadful, like they hate it. They talk about like writing their personal statement and absolutely hating it. And like having to redo it several times. I wrote one personal statement and I've just been copying and pasting it into every single thing. I feel like I'm slightly too relaxed, however, I not often too relaxed about a lot of things so maybe that's just my personality trait is just over relaxed which I love it tends to stress other people out but it sucks for them I guess because that's not me and it's not my issue yeah so I've applied for so many colleges some I would say quite unrealistic like I'm talking I have in my browser a couple of private schools. I have some private schools that are single sex and it's not the sex that I can get into because I am not, I'm not like amicable for this. And also if I did manage to get into the private school, the bursary is about my, I mean not the bursary, I, I was speaking about this, I was like if I did get in I would definitely need a bursary because the fees, the tuition fees, for one year, are my annual house come in? Are my annual household income? And I was just like, this is absolutely shocking. But also like, what did I expect? It's a private school. It's not made for like the general public or people within that class. But I have applied for some places that are just in t different counties. I understand that Americans are used to like going on long car drives and stuff. However, I'm like, I'm not in a position to even go to another school in a different s county. But I had fun like filling in the application forms. Like I love talking about myself. It was amazing. I think that's why I found it such an enjoyable process is just because I never really shut up about myself, which I would say that's a great personality trait. Others may disagree, but also, once again, it's other people who really cares about them. Certainly not me. I say that, but I've just taken their opinion into consideration, so that's a bit hypocritical. Also, I need to stop before I starve and die. Alright. But I, I was, while applying, I was just thinking like I am taking this basically as a joke like I I've applied for literally every single school under sun and I think that me applying for like 
me just being so unrealistic shows just quite a bit of like a maturity difference I would say because I went to school and my my pivotal years in school were during lockdown so I lack quite a bit of life experience like within the past six months or so of this year that is when I have only started speaking to like people who don't go to my school so you can imagine like I lack quite a few social skills, life skills, just things that people would generally normally have. Now the reason I believe this is, is because I go to a selective school, so I've never really interacted with like the general public, I would say. Oh, hi monster, leave me alone please, thank you. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> No, no, look, one second, you could be so nice to me. You actually could. Ah, oh, absolute love. Lifesaver. I hope there's a golden apple. There's not, but it's okay. I hope. Yeah. But I've never really, like, interacted with the, um, like, general public in this way, so I've never really understood how to hold a conversation. During like late 2020 to early 2021, I started live streaming. If you are watching this, that is probably where you will know me from. If not, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, that's such a cute, um, I forgot their name, Turtle, yes. Yes, I started live streaming. I did this because I believed that it was like necessary for me to really develop my social skills and public speaking. Which I would say it did work, because now I have entered, like, public speaking com- I have entered various public speaking competitions in my school. However, I never really got selected as a winner, so maybe it wasn't as effective as I thought it was, and I am just, like, managed to convince myself that it was. Which, if that's the case, that is so sad. Like, truly. Yes, but- um, god, I need to go back onto my topic about schools. Yeah, so, I think that I've genuinely, like, missed out on quite a bit of just life skills. Like, I've never taken a train, I haven't visited another country alone, which is something that my school would have done. However, I was during, it was during lockdown, and my school could not, of course, have a trip abroad during lockdown. So I missed out on so many like essential life skills and now I'm just sort of being like thrust into the not adult world because I know college is it's like a slightly more free version of school. Like there are definitely still protective boundaries and stuff put in place. However, it's just you you develop the skills, you develop the skill set that you need to then go into either higher education or something of the sorts. And that's where you like actually ex get your closest experience to what adult life is like. And I don't know if I'm finding this overwhelming because in my head I'm still like in year seven, eight, nine, like I can still remember everything about like my primary school and I don't know if that's just like a maturity thing, like me being absolute childish or what. However, it's just very distressing knowing that like I am closer to like going to university than I am being back in primary school. Because that's never really a thought that even occurred to me. Like, I knew at some point I would age. I know that's inevitable. But I don't sort of expect it to happen so fast. And I know that sounds so stereotypical. Everybody's always like, oh, time flashes before your eyes. But it sort of actually does. Like, I assumed people were saying that just to be like, oh, don't worry. Things won't take too long. But like, dude, I don't remember anything about 
like the past couple of years now maybe that is because and once again I was in school during lockdown so a lot of what I would have experienced I missed out on and however I feel like that's also like allowed me I should be able to remember more because like I more was documented as there was more use of like technology However, I still feel a bit clueless so I don't know maybe this is a personal issue also I've gone 100% off topic and I've just circled around to I think the same mountain I started at so I'm going to stop this video here hopefully my next video will actually be a bit more organized if I make it thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this little like ramble I guess it really wasn't enough of a ramble oh okay yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this ramble and adios!